Thanks for tuning back into another video. If this is uh, the first time visiting the channel, go ahead and subscribe and help us grow. Uh, we're trying to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark and every little bit helps along the way. So today's video is gonna be an update on the Civic. Um, if you've been watching along the episodes, you'll know that this video has been about two weeks from the last. Uh, the last you guys saw, we went ahead and cleaned, um, I believe the the transmission was the last. Um, Will, of the raw performance, he recommended. A uh, gentleman um, got everything done, everything checked out. We did have some spotter gears and an input shaft bearing that needed to be replaced. But we'll go over what's been going on with the car, and I'll show you guys some of the new parts that I've acquired, how we got them, and uh, do a couple different little thank yous along the way. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> So the Civic's still in the exact same space that you saw it last time. Uh, the transmission's obviously back in the car, but along the rear motor mount, it finally arrived. Um, it's got a 99 to 2000 SI mount. That's what's required to put a B-Series in an EK or a 96 to 2000 chassis. The motor mount kit that's in this car uh, the backstory here is the car started life as an automatic. So this car has been converted from automatic to manual. When you do that, this side, the transmission mount, is a little bit different than if it was originally a five-speed car. On an EK, they usually have this hydraulic filled mount or a 96 to 2000 Civic over here. These are probably from like eBay, Amazon. The inserts are really stiff. Um, everything in the car vibrates. Uh, a couple of the videos I've recorded in the past, I've put some in-car footage. Um, the problem with this is that everything is not necessarily precise. So it takes a little bit of massaging and persuasion to be able to put the motor back in. All I have is, you know, a floor jack or a jack stand there's nothing crazy here um, it took a lot of maneuvering to be able to line everything up the only thing I lack is the rear mount bolt back in here and I'm hoping that once the cars back on the ground I'll actually be able to kind of rock the engine everything else is somewhat tight so I may need to loosen some of these other bolts to be able to achieve that but Everything's been pretty smooth. The clutch is in. I had a little bit of an issue with the alignment tool. Um, everything worked out though. It was more user error and trial and error than uh, anything wrong. The item that I did, I guess you call it, I broke it. The, uh, the slave cylinder here, you can see the banjo bolt on the top. I ran into the predicament where the existing clutch line, since this car was an automatic, it had an aftermarket steel braided line. The clutch line had a 90 degree bend on one end and then it had a straight on the other. So this is a in line. Um, it's got a coating on top of it. It's probably similar to what you can buy on like Amazon, but it uses a banjo bolt. So over on the actual master cylinder side, I pulled the banjo bolt down. And knowing that the slave cylinder was a metric M10 by 1.0 thread pitch, I checked that same banjo bolt that I pulled out of the master cylinder to determine that it threads in and it's the same thread. So what that told me with some of these cars, 92 to 2000 Civics and Integras, it may only be Civic related, but what that told me was that the master cylinder that I have on the car has an M10 thread here. So uh, Rye Wire has both options. Um, Chase Bays only has the M10 option. So locally I tried and I exhausted my efforts. Um, O'Reilly's manufactures hydraulic hose, but this is kind of an odd configuration being metric um, and being not normally a, a pressure hose fitting. Um, so with that being the case, I, I struck out locally and I made a post on Facebook and the way it ended up coming around was Jeff from Revline up in Kansas City, Missouri. He, him and I had 
I guess, exchanged information or maybe just clicked on one another at some point, but he saw my post and he offered to help. So it's a super slick line. I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys some pictures and video of it here so you can check it out, but it arrived today. So we're gonna change some clothes. I'll show you the line. We'll go ahead and install it on the car. Okay, so the line that we received um, actually came with some other goodies. Uh, Jeff, thanks for including the granola bar. I was actually uh, a little surprised to see that in there, but it was an awesome gesture. The uh, the other stuff for import face off was kind of cool too. So, um, so it comes in a little like air tight pouch. Let's see if I can get this fitting out of here. So. Um, it's actually pretty long. Okay, so what I wanted to show you is this side has the metric M10 by 1.0 thread on the uh, inverted flare fitting. Uh, it looks just like a, a normal brake line fitting, but it's a metric thread. So this is gonna fit directly into the slave cylinder and without the nasty 90 degree bend that the other one had, this one shouldn't rub on anything. Um, Jeff told me that it was just long enough to be able to uh, go underneath the intake manifold. Um, but on the other end, I'm good to focus here, you've got a 90, it's actually a little bit more than a 90. So this is gonna go into the master cylinder. And again, it's metric M10, by 1.0 thread. So the other option is an M12 by 1.0. Um, if you don't have the correct size bolt, um, it's usually a 12 millimeter head, uh, but I would definitely check it before I just mistakenly ordered the wrong thing. Um, apparently they're only common in Canadian models, but they're listed as like an F and H series part. So. I guess it was more common on like the Prelude Accord chassis. But so overall, very pleased with all the uh, the help from Jeff here. So we'll go ahead and switch the camera over and we'll get to putting it in the car. All right, so I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I attempted to make this entire video uh, with Windows Movie Maker and I'm actually a little shocked. The features that I've used that are included for free in iMovie cost money on Windows Movie Maker. And not only that, but is it very unuser friendly? So I've resulted back to filming with my iPhone and editing with a MacBook Pro, but hopefully you guys can follow along as I install this. I uh, will go through and route it underneath the intake manifold and see what happens. All right, I just realized you're not gonna be able to see this, but I'm gonna thread in the straight side of the fitting to the slave cylinder first and by doing that that should allow us to be able to tighten the fitting even though it spins along this without kinking the line so that's my number one goal here so we'll time lapse a little and we'll get started now we got the slave cylinder on we're going to snake the rest of it underneath and if you can see it comes out from underneath here and I've got a little bit of slack so what we'll do is navigate around here it up down here all right so the fitting fits in perfect I want to snug everything up but the line is ran I'll show you the routing here on the other side and uh, overall pretty slick works very good Jeff thank you so let's start over here we've got this slightly tighter than a 90 degree angle coming off the master cylinder it routes underneath. I need to tie that up off of the alternator. It goes underneath the intake manifold and I should probably secure it on this side as well. 
and it goes right across the front of the transmission and straight into the slave cylinder. So let's go ahead and get everything snugged up, tied off, zipped off, and uh, ready to rock and roll so we can bleed it. guys so everything's all stitched up with the clutch line kit uh, big thanks Jeff I appreciate that a lot it was uh, very very simple and everything worked so um, uh, amongst that I'm gonna flip the camera around show you guys how everything looks uh, super clean if you're going for more of a tucked look uh, definitely recommend it I'll put his information in the description below so you can go check him out but we'll check it out here and you guys catch me in the next video we'll piece the car back together. The only thing that's less fluid. Um, so I'm going to do that off camera and hopefully Saturday, uh, we'll go up to Morrisville dragway for some test and tune weather permitting. It's, uh, currently 50 degrees here during the day and like 29, 25 of an evening and of a morning. So, uh, if the weather's good, we'll go to the track, but check out the kit, go over and see Jeff at Revline and, uh, you guys have a good evening. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.